Congratulations to the 13 students you placed. Two Saturdays ago, area business and individuals spent almost $10,000 supporting the PCHS FFA ham bacon and egg show and auction sale. Jessica Evans, Justin Wagner, and Pam Grimes were the top winners in the egg division. Their eggs sold to the First National Bank, Mitchell Chevrolet, Wade's Farm and Feed, and First Citizens Bank for prices ranging from $150 to $325. In ham and bacon division, the top winners were Susan Sharp, Fane Irving, and Dustin Simmons. Mitchell's First National and Citizens Bank and Bluegrass Market bought these for prices from $198 to $718. Congratulations to the 14 students who competed and sold their entries to 29 supporters. Recently, the Board of Education decided not to allow soda sales at school. State law allows for soda sales before and after school if local boards decide to do so. Students have been concerned with the local decision, and recently the Faculty Senate also voted on the issue. Jenny spoke with Faculty Senate Pres President Gary Beveridge. Mr. Beveridge, I understand that at the last Faculty Senate meeting, the faculty decided to approach the Board of Education about the POP issue. As President of the Faculty Senate, can you tell us more? Uh, yes, at the last Faculty Senate meeting, we did vote to uh, ask the uh, Board of Education to reconsider their uh, decision on not selling sodas during the day. Uh, the faculty voted to uh, uh, ask the Board of Education to allow us to sell during uh, uh, non-class time. And so we're at the next board meeting on April 6th. We will approach the uh, Board of Education and see if we can uh, reinstate soda selling sodas in the mornings and at that part of lunch. Okay. Thanks, Mr. Beveridge. This is Jenny for Warrior News. Soon it will be time to schedule for next year's classes, and the schedules are now being finalized. Including in that decision-making process is what to do about the lunch hour next year. Two proposals have been suggested so far. One is to only have half an hour for lunch and then go to homerooms and from there sign out to go to club meetings. The other, the other proposal is to have two lunch shifts, split third block for some students, and clubs would be handled in a different matter. Students can have input. Jenny spoke with Mr. Sanders. The schedule for next year is being looked at, and lunchtime is a time that keeps coming up. Could you tell us more about this? Well, naturally, lunchtime has been looked at simply with the new schedule for next year. There's different ways of doing your noontime, whether it's noontime lunch or noontime activities. Uh, we are looking at possibly doing it different next year and I am hoping to take some suggestions to the student council at the next meeting which will probably won't be for a couple weeks but any students that would want to be involved in this planning should be at the next student council meeting and students are welcome to come to any student council meeting to be a part of it. But we will have some ideas. Uh, the, the staff and, and I are looking at different ways to do lunchtime. Uh, we want more students involved in the activities that we have to offer. And um, we may have to delegate that to, for that to take place. Hopefully, we'll get some maybe some student input and uh, some ideas from them on a way that it would work better than what we have planned. Okay? Thank you. This has been Jennifer for Warrior News. All students are encouraged to attend the next student council meeting to have input. It begins March 30th. All PCHS students will be taking the achievement test except seniors. The test will, test will be administered at home rooms. Mr. Sanders said that breakfast will be free that week and encourage students to get plenty of rest. Attendance is important. If students have to miss, they will make up the test immediately during the lunch shift. The Body by Choice, My Choice program continues. Nancy and Sandra have been in classrooms conducting taste tests and sampling opportunities. Students have also been introduced to vegetable lasagna and honey lemon chicken. 
The program is sponsored by the West Virginia Department of Education Office of Child Nutrition and focuses on encouraging students to choose food reduced in fat, sugar, and calories. This has been Warrior News. Bye. Good day, this is Autumn for Warrior News. Some students are eligible to give blood. The Red Cross will be held at the high school on May 7th. Miss Larson visited the school earlier this month and talked about the blood drive. Hello, this is Ben Glasser for Warrior News. I'm here interviewing Nancy Larson of the American Red Cross. And why are you here, Nancy? Well, we collect blood from um, high schools, colleges, Votex, industries, and communities. And actually, high schools make up 25% of the blood that we collect. And we're really excited about getting into Pocahontas County High School. We've been trying to do this for seven years. And finally, they said yes. What date will this be on? It's going to be on May the 7th from 8.30 to 2.30. And we're going to use the uh, driver's head room and the hall outside for the site. And will the blood be tested? Yeah, we do test the blood. Uh, we collect the blood here at the blood drive. And the blood bags actually go back to Roanoke. But at the very end of the donation, we will collect little vials of blood, you know, little test tubes. And that is actually what uh, blood is used for testing. And the blood goes back to Roanoke and stays at the center down there at the Appalachian Region Center. But the little test tubes are going to be sent by courier down to uh, Charlotte, North Carolina that night. And they will be tested for seven infectious diseases. And if there is anything found wrong with your blood, you have to remember that we do treat you as adults in this situation and you will be the one who's contacted by a telephone call and if we can't reach you then you'll be sent a confidential letter letting you know that there is something wrong with the blood and oftentimes it's not like um, a communicable disease or you know the AIDS issue and so forth it's just simply that something that um, you need to have checked with your physician it has something to do with your general health thank you Nancy this is Ben Glasser for Warrior News PCH's new addition is still in the planning stages Jennifer had Mr. Sanders bring us up to date. Recently, the auditorium committee met with architects. Mr. Sanders, could you tell us more? Yes. Mrs. Van Reenen and I and Mr. Tom Long and Mr. Roger Trussler met yesterday on Tuesday with um, three different architect companies, and they discussed with us what they could, uh, trying to get us to hire them as the architect for the auditorium a job that will be done here at Pocahontas County High School. And basically we uh, we narrowed down some choices, but we really haven't come up with one architect, but that will be done in the very near future. But we did also find out that $1 million maybe would not buy everything that we wanted to put into the auditorium, such as uh, we we definitely would have liked to have had 500 seats and, of course, we want all those seats to be padded, be very comfortable. We're also looking at making it so that uh, everyone can hear. And we were very interested in the 
audio effects that would be built into the auditorium. And naturally, we wanted a big stage area that we could uh, either have drama or dance, band concerts. Uh, when I say dance, I mean dance classes taught or dance performances. We also want to be able to have um, audiovisual, maybe show films in there, even at night, to where it could be a fundraiser. So we would need a big screen that would come down. And again, we need excellent speakers for that type of thing. Uh, so we're in the process of narrowing this down to one architect and then the committee. Uh, and the committee will be made up of uh, teachers. And we hopefully we'll be able to put a student or two on this committee to be able to meet with us and the architect that is selected and finalize the drawings so that we can go out to bid just as soon as possible this fall. Okay. Thank you. This has been Jennifer for Warrior News. An architect has been hiding soon. FBLA had a great day in Charleston. Some students are preparing for the trip to Orlando, Florida. Jenny files us on this report. On March 13th and 14th, students from PCHS participated in the statewide FBLA competition. Suzanne, how did we do? Out of the 15 people that competed, we had 13 win, and of, out of those, we have four people go to this national conference in Orlando, Florida. When will the Orlando, Florida competition be? It'll be July 3rd through 9th, and we'll be staying on the Disney World theme park, so it'll be fun. How will you pay for this trip? Well, each person needs $500, so we have to raise $2,000 before July, so we're going to sell sweatshirts, sweatpants, t-shirts, and shorts, so we need your help with that, and we'll be selling stationery again. Okay. Thanks, Suzanne. This is Jenny for Wear Your News. One. The Board of Education met Monday. Student Representative Jennifer Deputy updates us on the meeting. At the most recent board meeting, some high school topics were brought up. The board granted approval to, to contract with Gates, Callaway, Moore, and West for the architectural and engineering services to construct the auditorium. Selling of sodas were also brought up, but will be continued at the next board meeting. This has been Jennifer for Warrior News. On the schedule for this week is the Social Studies Fair will be held Saturday at the high school. State County testing is Monday through Thursday next week. Makeups will be done during lunch. And on Thursday, TI leaves for reg the regional conference right after school. That's it for Warrior News. We leave you with a few scenes from Career Day. Also, before we leave, we are looking for news anchors, reporters, camera people, and sports people. And if you are interested, please contact Jennifer Deputy. Thanks. Probably some a little bit of accounting. Basically, it's business administration. Uh, who did you have to talk to to like uh, get a job at the guy? Say, the okay, we keep the applications in behind the tellers, so anyone can come in and get an application.
Good day. This is Autumn and Chrissy for Warrior News. Friday, March 27th, Pocahontas County High School Concert Band traveled to Buckcannon Upshur High School for ratings. Mr. Hall, could you tell us what the importance of ratings is? Well, ratings is required by state for the band to perform in, and if we don't if we don't go and perform, then it means that we can tra not travel the, the next season anywhere outside of the county, and uh, and possibly the the school could be put on probation. And um, so we we go every year, one time a year, to perform in front of three judges who rate us from a one to a five. One being superior, five being very very poor. And this year, all three judges gave us a superior rating, which is the best you could possibly get. Thank you. This has been Jennifer for Warrior News. 21 students and two PCHS teachers will participate in the First Regional Teen Institute this weekend at Camp Caesar. Some will serve as youth staff, while the freshmen will be participants. The high school TI group received two grants to conduct the camp as a way to involve other schools in TI. TI is an effort by teens to encourage young people to find healthy lifestyles. PCHS students traveled to four other schools to promote the camp. Nineteen PCHS students participated in the County Social Studies Fair last weekend. Twelve of them will be going on to the state competition in Charleston in May. Those with a team presentation who will compete include Holly Nelson and Elizabeth Stemple, Ben Glasser and Jeff Boserman, Patrick Saffer and Ryan Groves, Emily Morton and Angela Whedon, and Edwina Childers and Kenneth Lambert. Individuals who will go to Charleston are Matt Gay and Jonah Boserman. There were approximately 125 projects shown at the high school. The winners received ribbons and medals this year. This is the first year that the winners will go to Charleston for the state contest. They will be staying at West Virginia State College. Congratulations to all the participants. I'm here with Angela and Emily, two participants in the County Social Studies Fair. Emily, can you tell us the title of your project? It was television, is it worth it? Angela, can you tell us a little more a little more about what you did? Well, we reviewed the positive aspects of television, such as a babysitter and entertainment, and saw if it was worth the violence that it causes in children and other things. Okay. Emily, what did you have to do at the fair? Um, we had to make a backboard and give an oral presentation and answer any questions that the judges may have had. Okay, thanks. This is Jenny for Warrior News. Last Saturday, the baseball team traveled to Tucker County for a doubleheader. Where are y'all going? Learning uh, Center, short -term term memory to where? Tucker County. And you have one game? We have two. We have a doubleheader at 1 o'clock. First in announcement, the Virginia Lottery has now made our... How many have you had this year? We've had one. And... We lost five back. Could you go over how the lottery has made our lives easier again? And then what's your rest of your schedule this week? Uh, next week we don't have nothing because of the test in the morning. And we'll make that Saturday and have a doubleheader again. Okay. Where are you going? See, baseball season so far. Yeah, pretty decent. What's good about it? All right. Just messing around. New uniforms? Yeah, Last Thursday, the physics class under Miss Burns followed a tradition and broke their bridges. The best bridge was by Justin Ryder and Baron Heineman. It held only 50 pounds, but the weight ratio was 670 times its weight. After speaking to several of the physics students, it was agreed that if more time was given to complete the bridges, then the bridges would have held more weight and they would have been better. This is Baron Heineman for Warrior News. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to without dropping this thing. Alright, just holding it. Okay. <laughs> it has to hold the bar. Okay. Yours works, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's going ready. It's going. Just drop it. <laughs> <laughs> there, see? It's done. That's an amazing thing to do with that. Oh, Lord. Go towards you, Ben. Yeah. <laughs> Like a 
Oh. Oh. Speak is a short one. Faculty Senate is Thursday, so it's a half a day for students. Students and staff are off Good Friday. Have a good weekend. This is Warrior News. Good morning, this is Autumn Totten and Chrissy Keller for Warrior News. This is one of the busiest times of the year for PCHS, PCHS students. There are sports events, contests, and activities. A plan came together this month. The plan started last summer when three PCHS students attended the State Teen Institute at Glenville. One of their tasks while there was to come up with a team plan to carry back what they learned at camp. Their plan was to hold a teen institute for the four counties in this region. The other counties do not participate in TI. Jennifer Deputy, Chrissy Keller, and Rachel Barb worked with the Community Substance Abuse Counselor, Terry Brackett, to develop the idea. Their sponsors received grants for $3,000. PCHS students visited the other high schools in our region to promote Teen Institute Weekend. On Thursday, April 2nd, 53 students and 11 adults met at Camp Caesar for the first Regional Teen Institute. The youth staff was made up totally of 16 PCHS students while five students per were participants. The youth staff led energizers, produced skits, led recreation, and led the mix mixers. The entire camp eval evaluated them as excellent. Each school then wrote a plan to carry back to their school. VICA has been busy participating for their competition, which was held last weekend. Their many hours of practice paid off with success. Here is their story. The VICA team participated in a competition. Josh, can you tell me where it was held? It was held in Elkins Vocational Center at the high school. Jessica, what did you participate in? How did you do? Chapter business procedure, and we placed first. Brian? Electronics Technology and Chapter Business Procedure. I got first in Chapter Business and second in Electronics Technology. Josh, what did you participate in? Opening and closing ceremonies. Jeremiah, how did you do? Uh, we got second. Okay. Thanks. This is Jenny for Warrior News. <laughs> this past weekend, Danny competed in the VICA competitions. What exactly did you compete in, Danny? Carpentry. And how did you do? Got first. Thank you. This has been Jennifer for Warrior News. Finally, students were involved in competition last week also. They went to Bethany College near Willing and came away with some winners. French students Josh Carpenter and Michael Lacoste won first and second place in creative writing. Justin DeSelli won a scholarship for his advanced recitation. PCHS musical and dramatic presentations both won first place. Amanda Childers placed first with her paintings, and a second place went to Samantha Shaw for her poster. Spanish student Sarah Perry won a second place with her recitation. Last Thursday, members of the PCHS French class participated in the Bethany Foreign Language Festival. Alyssa, how many schools were there? Um, there were about 30 schools and about 730 people there. 
Jonathan, what did you participate in and how did you play? Um, we participated in the skit and the song for French. Um, we also had entries in creative writing and in recitation. Um, we placed first in the skit and the song. We placed first and second in the highest level of creative writing and we placed first and second in the level C um, advanced recitation. Okay, congratulations. This is Jenny for Warrior News. Sarah Perry is the first ever PCHS student to place in the Spanish competition at the Bethany Foreign Language Festival. Sarah, can you tell us a little more about it? Well, I did Spanish recitation level one and I went up and said my poem and was really nervous in front of everybody. And it was about this girl and she kissed this guy and she was trying to get him to kiss her back by just saying different things like her mom was being mean to her, like punishing her for what she did. And so to undo what was done, she needed him to kiss her. Okay, thanks Sarah. This is Jenny for Warrior News. The issue has been discussed, surveyed, and discussed some more. What issue? Whether PCHS can sell Cokes during school. On Monday night, the Board of Education finally came up with a decision. Yes, you can buy a Coke during designated times. Their concern was the effect of both sugar and caffeine on students. Last Wednesday, registration took place for the next year. The cafeteria and commons area were busy, were busy places as students signed up for the classes they wanted and needed. While that was going on, students who were not registering were involved in many opportunities. Over 35 adults from the community came to help with Wellness Day. Students learned new skills, discussed concerns, relaxed with Zed, and learned to trust each other. Parents helped as room coordinators and some even cleaned up. Thanks to Patty McComb, Cindy Taylor, Linda Grimes, Pat Jurgen, Cindy McLaughlin, and all the other parents who helped. The day ended with a talk by football great Robert Alexander. With drugs and alcohol, drinking and driving can do to you before you even do it. So don't pick it up. You know what playing around with guns can do to you before you pick it up, especially when alcohol or drugs are involved. So don't pick it up. Thank you for taking time out to hear me today. I hope to come back. Uh, like I promised some of you, I promised some of you, and I'll tell the crowd to be in the, in the principal now, that I promised some of the students that I would be back with them in the May just to hang out so I could play ball with them. Because they, I have a challenge. They think they can take this old man down. The old man's going to come back and play no ball. So I thank you guys. I, I, I love you, each and every one of you. God bless you all. And feel free to contact me anytime, okay? Thank you. And speaking of sports, here is the sports report. Track and baseball teams have been very busy recently. And here's the baseball story. Past Saturday, the baseball team played Greenbrier West, and here's Jake to tell us more. Yeah, we lost our one by one in the uh, first game in the ninth inning, and the second game we lost by two. Thank you. This has been Jennifer for Warrior News. In track, the boys team placed second in the meet at Glenville last Saturday. Chad Ballin, a first-year member, has come away with several first-place wins in the 102-meter dash. Philip Lehman placed second in the 400-meter, while David Palmer was third in the 100-meter. The boys' relay teams have been first and second in most of their runs. The teams include Chad, David, Philip, Jerry Kane, and Jordan Balserman. The girls placed sixth out of 14 teams. Hope May was first in the shot put, while Tasha Combs <laughs> had a first place in the 800 and second in the 16. Their relay teams are placing in the top four on. The band is getting ready next year with selections for drum major, majorettes, and the flag court. Here are the results. Hello, I'm here with Mr. Hall. Can you tell us when next when the next concert's going to be? Uh, the concert's scheduled right now for May the 20th at 7 p.m. Um, and what are you doing to prepare for next fall marching season? Everybody's at work, working hard. We've got the flags working, the majorettes, and uh, handed out a lot of the music, and uh, we're just starting out right now, getting ready. 
This has been Elizabeth Glasser for Warrior News. Activities at PCHS include Assembly Friday at 2.55 p.m., FFA Banquet Friday night at 6.30 p.m., Prom Saturday night, after prom party starting at midnight on Saturday. And for your information, the senior exams will be held June 1st and 2nd. Awards Day will be Thursday, June 4th, followed by graduation practice with the senior picnic. Underclass final exams are Friday, June 5th, and Monday, June 8th, with the last day being makeup day for those who missed tests on June 9th. This has been Warrior News. Good day and welcome to Warrior News. The last month of school is always busy with various events in preparation for graduation. Every year students look forward to the prom. This year's prom was held May 2nd at the Connection at Snowshoe. The theme was magical moments and there were 200 guests. Prom king and queen were Jesse E. Stepp and Spencer Misham. Prince and princess were Brandy Burdett and Travis Underwood. The after prom was a big success. The event is sponsored by the community club. Over $2,000 in gifts and money were given away. The junior and senior class thanks this organization. Before prom, Students Against Drunk Driving sponsored a program illuminating the dangers of drinking and driving. Every 23 minutes, a student was killed and the Grim Reaper appeared and took them away. At the end of the day, the students were, went to a brief assembly concerning the dangers of mixing alcohol and driving. <laughs> Every five Americans will be involved in alcohol-related traffic crash at some time in their lives. I went to a great party with Kevin over the weekend. It was a lot of fun until we left. Kevin said he was okay enough to drive, and I believe him. A crash, and I felt a terrific jolt. Glass and steel flew everywhere. My whole body seemed to be turning inside out. I knew I was doing the right thing when I took his keys. Me and my boys, to Michael and Justin, are at a cool party. Lots of fun, girls, and alcohol. I'm on the pavement. I can hear the policeman say, the kid that caused this wreck was drunk. His voice seems so far away. Don't let this tombstone become yours, or that of the victim you caused to die. Our foreign language program has won numerous regional honors. And Monday, the focus will be on local competition. Ms. Friel explains. With us today is Spanish teacher Mrs. Friel. Mrs. Friel is going to be telling us about the Foreign Language Festival. When is the Foreign Language Festival? The Foreign Language Festival is this Monday, May the 11th, and it starts at 6 o'clock, and it will be over with around 9 o'clock. Okay. What kinds of events and competitions do you have? We have several competitions. We have cooking, which will be in the, the different rooms, uh, Spanish in the cafeteria and, and the other rooms in Mrs. Sharp's and Mrs. White's room, um, Mrs. Burns' room also, French cooking. Also, we'll have in the commons area, we'll have the posters 
the um, paintings and the models. And then we have already done the recitations and the, the creative writing and the reading uh, competition. So they will already be done. So that night will just be the cooking. And then afterwards we'll do the entertainment. So uh, that should be interesting. We're going to do several skits. Okay. Uh, will we see any of your award-winning Bethany events? Yes, we will. Uh, you'll see the, the French, uh, which placed first in the drama and also in the musical. They will be doing their, their uh, skits and musicals. Uh, we'll be doing ours, uh, the Spanish group, and also they will be reciting so that everyone can see what they, the, what, what they recited, the poems that they recited. What time should the students arrive? If they're cooking, they should be here by 5.30 because the judging will start at 6. Okay. Would you like to add anything else for the people out? Yes, I would just like to invite everyone to come out to our foreign language festival that night. It's a fun night. The next day is uh, election day, so you don't have any school. So come out and join us and support our languages. Thank you. Thank you. This has been Patrick Lambert for Warrior News. The band's superior rating did not stop their preparation for next year. Jennifer reports on some new members of the band next year. The 1998-99 Fly Girls are Head, Kim McLaughlin, Allison Flegel, Sabrina Tribbett, Katie Smith, Jessica Dumbrack, Jennifer Miller, Valerie McLaughlin, Holly Hollinsworth, Sarah Shear, Emily Morton, Ginger Henry, Amy Henry, Jessica Ray, Jamie Smith, and the alternates are Randy Wayne and Nicole Sowers. The 1998-99 Majorettes are Head, Hope May, Suzanne Stewart, Chrissy Keller, Jessica Walkup, Kirsten Hunneman, and Jacqueline Hollinsworth. The last career day of the year was held Wednesday. The focus was science and natural resources and human services. The hit of the day was not a person, but a machine, a helicopter. Here are a few shots of our guests. And then draw those boundaries on those aerial photographs. We don't walk over every boundary that we see. That's where the aerial photograph and the stereoscope come into play. You take that stereoscope, set up those photographs, and get personal to do that. Stand him up. Someone asked why we make him look mean. Uh, well, bears can be mean. They can be real ferocious. And sometimes you see them in the wild, they're just the nicest to be. Yeah. Uh, I think it's a concept that people like to look for those teeth and those tongues. <laughs> How many charges you get charged with uh, going time to rest up to you? You know, you've got a simple violation, you get you one, one ticket, and you go on your way, we go on our way. You go on our
you can be able to ski because um, it's very pretty rare. You can have the back. It didn't matter if you're having fun, right? So if it's over here, it wouldn't be over here. Talking to us about social work, the third exception is, oh, you know, Richard. Okay, Richard's too old now. But if he was 17 and he came cruising into my office and he said, Sam man, my mom, you know, you know my mom said, she's not very big. She got blonde hair. She got mad. Yeah. Okay. The Red Cross blood job is today. There is no school for PCHS students Friday. Incoming freshmen will be registering. PCHS takes on Webster County home Friday at 3.30 and then plays Richwood at home Saturday at 2 p.m. The Foreign Language Festival is Monday evening. The Consensus Decision Making Leadership Conference is Monday and Tuesday at Snowshoe and the State Social Studies Fair is May 16th. Good day, this is Warrior News. Good day and welcome to Warrior News. The class of 1998 is graduating June 8th and Mr. Sanders recently made this announcement. Well, I'm very proud and happy to announce our honor graduates and valedictorian salutatorian. Our valedictorian is Justin Ryder and our co-salutatorians is Ginger Beveridge and Michelle Weimer. Our honor graduates are uh, Jessica Estep, Angela Whedon, Amanda McComb, Martha Snyder, Andrea Sharp, Brian Smith, Amanda Irvin, Brandy Schoolcraft, and Luke Burgess. What do posters, skits, food, and writing have in common? The Foreign Language Festival, held Monday the 11th at PCHS. It was an evening of fun, food, and competition. Middle school students also participated. The French results are Samantha Shaw, first place in posters, Aslan Giselli, first in creative writing, levels one and two, Michael Lacoste, creative writing, advanced, Margaret Clark, first in recitation, Aslan Giselli, first in reading. Beth Young and Emily Morton, first in savory cooking. Jonathan Smith and Samantha Shaw, first in dessert. Spanish results are Sarah Perry, won first in level one creative writing, recitation, reading, and also first for her poster. Jessica Buzzard, won first in levels two through four for creative writing and recitation. Other winners were Timothy Van Reenen, Spanish cooking, and Luke Burgess first in reading levels through two through four. For a complete list of winners, check the Pocahontas Times. PCHS students met with success at the State Social Studies Fair. Receiving honorable mention were Jana Boserman, Emily Morton, Angela Whedon, Matt Gay, Kenneth Lambert, Edwina Childers, Pat Saffer, and Ryan Groves, Holly Nelson, and Elizabeth Stemple. Bill came to PCHS for the first time. PCHS students who were 17 or older had the opportunity to give blood. 34 people gave blood and 29 pints were usable. Three others were willing but were ill and could not give. The goal for the visit was 30 pints.
The Red Cross representative was very pleased with this first effort. The visit was sponsored by the PCHS 4-H Leadership Club, and the cafeteria staff helped provide food for the canteen. Warrior the Warrior News camera recently visited the track meet at Midland Trail. Okay. Running the 200. On the far side of the field, of the track, and Adam Madison on the right side of the track for the 3200. In our terms, Mrs. Wiley, how how long is 3200 meters? Eight times around this track, which is equivalent to um, two miles. Where'd you finish? Well, I had 11:53. And where'd I'm you not place? Sure what I Pretty good though, right? Six or seven. Great. to Daniel Sharp. <laughs> Last Thursday at the track meet at Summersville, the boys placed second overall, losing by only four points. First place finishes went to Chad Baldwin in the Open 100, and the Open 200. The 4x1 and 4x2 and 4x8 teams placed first, as did the 4x4. Members included Phil Lehman, David Palmer, Chad Baldwin, Jared Kane, Dion Fundu, Baron Hahnemann, <laughs> Jonah Bosserin, Ben Glasser, and Joel Dawson. The girls placed sixth in the meet. The girls 4x2 was second, and the 4x4 was fourth. Thomas placed second in the Open 8 and first in the Open 4. Mary Sue Burns received the National Science Award Friday. Another PCHS teacher has a more dubious honor. This is Bob Keller reporting for Warrior News. Just recently, we have had an outstanding faculty member receive some distinguished recognition for his efforts as a writer, which is kind of an unusual since he's a math teacher. Mr. Mike Shank won a contest. Would you tell us, Mr. Shank, what this contest was you won? Well, it was uh, Michael Feldman's What Do You Know show that they were having, uh, bringing two people to Wisconsin to go smelt fishing. What's a smelt fishing? Well, it's a smelt is about a in four inch long fish. He told us, the guy took his fish and told us you picture a, a minnow, uh, slightly bigger than a minnow. Kind of a bloated minnow. Yeah, that's about it. All right, and so you had, and this is kind of a great tradition in Wisconsin? Well, smelting is, but this was the first time they've had this contest. And you had to write about how you always wanted to go smelting. Well, I had to, had to finish the statement I've always wanted to go smelting how did because. You, how did you finish that statement? Well, I basically just sat down and said some things that West Virginians are, you know, typical stereotypes of what West Virginians do and played on words with that. Oh, about it. Oh, uh, so I guess if you want to read it, read it, you have copies of it available at a small charge. Dollar a piece. Dollar a piece. All right. Now, you won a contest. You got to go to Wisconsin. You went last weekend and took your lovely young bride, too, didn't you? Yes, I did. What did you while uh, you are there? Well, we... You're supposed to go smelting, right? Well, we didn't get to go smelting, though. They, uh, were, they run when the lake ice goes off the lake, and the ice went off about a month ago, so we caught some bass instead. You were... Caught what? Bass. Oh. B-A-S-S. That's another fish. <laughs> Very good. That's a lot of fun. <laughs> would you ever go back to that part of the country? Oh, yeah. Um, it's a place that I never thought that I would go to probably would have never gone to had it not been for this contest and someplace yeah i think that a few, a few years down the road we'll return to you met you the guide was kind of a fun guy too wasn't he yeah he was a little off the wall but he was a real educated guy but he uh had a lot of humor to him too um so the next time you hear the word smelt it doesn't mean something stinks it's a fish in wisconsin and mr shank is our local expert this is bob keller reporting for warrior news the Spring Band Concert is Wednesday at PCHS. The Achievement Banquet is Thursday. Good day from Warrior News.
The physics class launched the rockets last week. It was very successful, and only two rockets were lost. It was a great way to end the class. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Thursday, May 28th, the physics class at PCHS set off the rockets. The launching was a huge success and we only lost two rockets, those belonging to Amanda McComb and Beth Henry and Abby Flagel and TJ Morris. Altogether, the rockets launched well, but due to a few battery problems, not all of them were able to be recorded on tape, especially the rocket by Brooke McLaughlin and Sarah Perry, which was an F-14 Tomcat and it sort of went out of control. Other than that, the class was rather happy with the results. Woo, <laughs> look at that rocket. <laughs> <laughs> Sixty-nine. The spring band concert and art show was a wonderful success. The jazz band, choir, and concert band performed. Letters and certificates were given out to those who had participated for three or four years, with the exception to Olon and Marcella. The art exhibits attracted many people also. Kristen G. won best of show with her drawing of Kate.
the exact opposite of what he's. He's got the angel, I'm the fallen angel. Good job. The senior versus faculty baseball game was played on a very hot afternoon. In the end, the seniors pulled it together and whipped the faculty. Just like right over here and there. Let's go talk to Lucy. The National Honor Society banquet was held and the gym was full to capacity. All had a great time and enjoyed their meal. What good food. Anytime there's food, it's good. And if the wind would die down, I could read my script. The drama class plays were presented and was successful. Around 200 people of the community came out and watched the plays. And from personal experience, the plays were excellent. Last weekend, the track teams went to Charleston and competed in the state track meet. For the girls, the girls 4x200 team placed 12th in the state, and Tasha Combs was state champion in the 400 and placed second by a slim margin in the 800. And Hope May finished ninth in the shot put. For the guys team, the 4x100 team finished fifth. The guys 4x2 team finished third. And the 4x400 team finished somewhere, but I don't know because it's not on the paper. <laughs> 4x800 team finished 11th. Chad Baldwin and Dave Palmer failed to make the finals, but they ran real hard. Baron Heineman finished 10th in the 800, and he had his fastest time ever. Jonah Bosman finished 5th, but we're, we really think he finished 4th in the 300 hurdles. And Phil Lehman finished 15th in the 400. A tape of graduation and faces of this year will be on sale for $7. Anyone interested needs to bring their money in advance to Mrs. Keller. The foreign exchange students have had a wonderful year in the United States, but Jennifer interviewed our own D. John about his stay and if he's ready to go home. We'd like to get some last words from Dayon before he leaves the country. Dayon, when will you be leaving? Well, I'm leaving the uh, country on uh, June 15th, but I'll be leaving Pocahontas County in West Virginia on uh, June 9th, which means next Tuesday. Okay, what's, what's the first thing you're going to do when you get back home? Well, when I get off the plane, I'll probably jump on the ground and kiss a couple of times. But then I'm going to jump on my family, my friends, hug. I, I didn't see them for 10 months. it would be a long time. Do you have a favorite food that you're going to eat when you go back? Oh, I have a couple of them. I'm just going to eat all day long. I miss some food over here. It's okay, but what you eat whole life, it's better, you know. Nothing's better than mom, my mom's food. Okay, do you have any last things that you would like to say before you leave? Well, I'd like to say that it was a great experience come over here. The people are here really nice. Uh, uh, everybody accepted me really nice, and uh, everybody tried to make me feel better. And this year was uh, successful and a uh, total great experience, and I'll never forget it. Okay, thank you. This has been Jennifer for Warrior News.
And to, all, and to all you out there in TV land, you all have a good summer. And for me and Baron, we'll be out there kicking it up. This has been Ben Glasser for Warrior News. See you later. Oh, I just might. And it shots here, guys, for the end of the year. Now they'll all wonder.